in Santa Maria della Grazia in Milan looking at Leonardo da Vinci's Last Supper. And we're in the room where the monks would eat, the refectory. And so several times a day, the monks would come in here and eat silently and be able to look up at Leonardo's Last Supper. It's an ideal place, of course, for this particular subject and not an uncommon one. So let's talk about the story. At the Last Supper, Christ says, one of you will betray me to his 12 apostles. And one of the ways that this painting is often read is as a reaction to that moment. That is, this is not the moment when Christ utters that, but the moment after when the reaction takes place. These are his closest followers, and so this is terribly shocking. And so what we see is this incredible set of reactions from the apostles around the table. So that's one way we can understand the fresco. But there's another aspect of the narrative. Which is in some ways even more important. Christ, you can see, is reaching towards both a glass of wine and towards bread. And this is the institution of the sacrament. The sacrament of the Eucharist, we might know it as Holy Communion, where Christ says, take this bread, for this is my body. Take this wine, for this is my blood, and remember me. And you can see that he reaches out toward the bread and the wine. But what's interesting is that Christ's hand is widely spread. So it seems as if he's reaching towards the wine, but at the same time, he's reaching toward a bowl. And at the same moment, Judas is reaching towards that same bowl. Judas is the one who's going to betray Christ. He's been paid 30 pieces of silver by the Romans, and you can see he's grasped that bag of silver in his right hand as he pulls away from Christ, his face cast in shadow. But he's pulling away at the same time that he's still reaching out to the bowl, and that's one of the ways that Christ identifies who will betray him, the person who shares, who dips with him in that bowl. It's interesting because the history of the art history about this painting is really about scholars arguing about what moment this is. <laughs> But I think there are all of these moments here, and the apostles could just as easily be understood as reacting to Christ's words, one of you will betray me, as they could to Christ saying, take the bread, for this is my body, and take the wine, for this is my blood. So Leonardo tells us several moments in this story, and at the same time gives us a sense of the divine, eternal importance of this story. I mean, we would never mistake this for 13 people having dinner. We know this is the Last Supper. We know that this is an important moment, but without any of the obvious symbols of the divine that we would have in the early Renaissance, like the halo. The figures themselves are monumental in this space and too crowded for that table, creating a kind of energy, a kind of chaos 